Hey folks, Kayak DIY back for another episode. Today, we're gonna be testing out the Riot Mako pedal kayaks. Let's jump right in. Well, I am not Kayak DIY. I am, uh, my name is Brandon, and I do have a YouTube tag that's called Water Power. Uh, Justin was kind enough to invite me out to uh, have me unpaid film him while he plays on his new toys. Adventure in a bag. That is the Mako Air 8.5. Inflated from an electric pump or the included manual pump. It has three chambers, inflate to 15 PSI and go. This catamaran style haul is like nothing you've seen. It has an incredibly comfortable seat. It's rock solid under your feet. It has ambidextrous steering, adjustable leg length, pedal drive system, drop down rudder. The pedal drive is so smooth, it practically turns itself. And it's lightweight. I was able to cover several miles without any effort. Catch some fish, have fun with friends, and make some memories. The Mako Air 8.5 seems to break all the rules set forth by other kayaks. It seems to defy what we know about kayaks. It's eight and a half feet long, and this impulse drive makes it rip across the water at speeds of five miles an hour. It is a six to one gear ratio on the impulse drive, and it's so smooth, it practically pedaled itself. The Mako Air 8.5 is only eight and a half feet long, 36 inches wide, and yet we both agree that it seemed to defy physics. It had such good stability that we could hardly believe it. So a good review, it reveals the strengths and the weaknesses. The weakness on this kayak would be that the rudder is about a seven out of 10. But that's a look at the ultra versatile and portable Mako Air 8.5. So last but not least, new for 2023 is gonna be the Riot Mako 10.5. This is gonna be the replacement for the Riot Mako 10, which I reviewed in previous videos. Here I showed it with a scuba tank and milk crate. Uh, for fishing just to show the versatility of how you could actually have gear on deck. I really like that this kayak doesn't have a bunch of hatches. I like that it has the tray wells because I find that to be more usable space for me personally. This kayak has excellent maneuverability and it tracks very well. Um, here we actually are specifically testing the tracking. I wanted to pedal as fast as I could and see if it could hold a straight line without having the rudder lose control. I do think that there is some room for improvements on the rudder. Um, I think they could make a slightly bigger rudder that uh, engages more with the water and I think you'd increase the performance drastically. Although the performance here as you can see is quite good. I'm able to spin the kayak around, I was able to track straight and I'm able to even pedal backwards um, and have a lot of control. And that's important because when you wanna like fish docks or you know navigate tight little waterways, having that maneuverability is excellent. Pay close attention to my sunglasses. Yep, I lost another pair of sunglasses. I'm gonna have to do some like treasure hunting videos on finding all the stuff I lose in the canals. <laughs> And that's how you lose sunglasses. Ah! Ah! So as you can see there, the stability was quite good. Now doing bow to stern. We have nice big grab handles that are molded in. I like that. It has a nice track mount there in the front for a camera mount or whatever. Um, I find that very usable. Uh, right here we have the pedal drive and it has a spot to actually store it when you're doing a surf launch from the beach. And it helps hold the pedal drive in place in case you were to flip. Uh, it has nice big track mounts on each side of the kayak that double as handles and as your mount for your seat and as your mount for your rudder and also mounts for uh, rod holders. So these long tracks that run on each of the gunnels are very versatile and I like that. The seat is very well made. The stitching feels solid. The material feels ultra durable. And uh, I really was impressed because this kayak only comes in at a price point of $1,399. It has a nice big cargo net and a rear hatch. Um, that to me adds a lot of versatility, not only in rigging, but in storing. 
Um, this kayak is, is ready right from the factory. I mean, to, to take out on the water and have adventures. It has an anchor trolley as well. I almost forgot that. Um, that's kind of a cool thing that it shipped with. Looking underneath the seat, um, you can see we have nice uh, standing EVA deck uh, padding that reduces sound uh, transmission into the water when you're standing on deck so you don't spook fish. That red and black ball on the deck is for your rudder controls. Um, and then this was a little paddle keeper that was included. Um, and this is how you store your paddle on the side of the kayak. So it's nice that they include that because you are going to want to typically carry a paddle with you when you have a pedal kayak because sometimes you get in shallow water and you need a transition over to a paddle. Here we have some nice little foam scupper plugs. The company told me that the foam that they use for the scupper plugs is actually a recycled and repurposed material so that's really cool. It tells me that they're environmentally conscientious and uh, I, I like that about companies. Uh, the scuppers that are in the back here are actually for structural integrity. They help uh, support the seat so that if you have heavier people on board, it doesn't you know, cause cracking of the plastic. So there you can see the pedal drive is strapped down. And let's talk a little bit about the pedal drive. The pedal drive has a six to one gear ratio that I believe it's currently shipping with, but it does have other gear ratio options. I don't know if Riot's gonna offer those as packages or kits, but quite frankly, I really like the six to one gear ratio. I think it's excellent. and I think it's dialed in perfect. Here I'm standing in different portions of the kayak just to kind of see the stability and how it handles the weight. So they recommend a paddler weight of around 200 pounds. I'm 205 pounds. I'm standing in the bow of this kayak and I'm not flipping over. So for this quick little test, I'm just sitting in the bow area just because I want to see how well it could handle the weight. Um, here's a look at some of my other videos I've done by Riot and I'll have links and specs and everything listed in the video description below uh, for your convenience. Uh, one thing I want to mention is I flipped the kayak over multiple times and I never got water inside the hull of the kayak and that really impressed me because I've owned $7,000 kayaks that actually got water in the hull. So this thing performed very well and I'm very impressed and I think Riot did a great job. Hopefully you'll subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and comment and let me know what you like about these kayaks or any other questions you might have. I have other Riot kayaks that I'm going to be releasing videos on. But any of this support helps me pay my cameraman. Thanks.